Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and this is a 1915 fully restored Mason & Hamlin Double A. So if you guys have watched any of our videos, you know that Masons are my favorite pianos. It's what I have in my home, and the Double A is an awesome, awesome piano. These are six foot two, measuring from the very front of the piano to the very back, and this is a golden era Mason. So this is exactly where you want to be, basically before 1930, 1900, 1930. It's that golden era time frame where the pianos made in the United States were at their peak of production. And this is right in the center of it. So this is a home run piano. It does have a wet sand casted plate. We've pulled the plate, refinished the plate, we've refinished the soundboard and shimmed the soundboard. Uh, brand new pin block, restrung the piano, new dampers, new hammer shanks and flanges. We used Renner. Um, we rebuilt the every single whipping, whipping so we take the whippings off, soda blast them. Uh, new center pins, bushing felts, everything. We even rebush the keys. And we just go to the nines. And a, and a nice double A like this is going to have this kind of enveloping sound, this enveloping tone that just kind of, when you're playing, it just kind of feels like it, it comes around you like this. And it just has this big, rich, full tone. And that's what we want out of our Masons. Um, these are very beefy, well overmade pianos. I mean, the inner rim of this piano is like that thick. It's ridiculous. And they do have tension resonators underneath them that pull the rims of the piano in, kind of forcing the crown of that soundboard, which is where you get all that power, which is why these old Masons sound so good years and years and years down the road, because they have what's called a tension resonator up underneath the piano. Um, but I'm going to pull the action for you guys so you can see what's going on on the inside. All right. So now that we've got the action out, you can kind of see what we've done so far. So as you can see, all of this part, these uh, hammer shanks and flanges are all brand new. These are all Renner um, hammers here. These are Renner blue points that we use. And we use these a lot on these American pianos because it allows us to really voice them and dial them into exactly where we want them to be. We don't want them to be too bright or too warm. And Renner's just allow us to do so much with the tone of the piano. So we always like to start with those. We've also rebushed every single uh, center pin, or sorry, balance rail and front rail pin. We've also replaced all the let off buttons entirely with brand new ones. And like I said, we've taken off every single weapon, removed the felt, sandblast or soda blasted them, and then put them all back together with all brand new felt and brand new pins, basically rebuilding the entire um, weapons themselves. And then we just replace all the back end felt, this red felt back here, which is what's pushing up the damper uh, or the back action and igniting the dampers in the back of the piano. Um, and then we also veneer the sides of the keys. So as you can see, these are original key sticks, but we put this nice veneer on the side right here so that the keys look brand new when, they, when the fall board's on right here. You know, you're going to be playing and seeing that as opposed to kind of this older kind of aged wood that it actually is. But this is just kind of like a cosmetic thing. And then obviously we re-ebonize the sharps and new key tops on the naturals. So I'm going to put this piano back together and we'll have Daniel come and play it for us so you guys can hear what it sounds like. But if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow us for more awesome piano related videos.